So in this video, I just want to quickly show you how you can get almost any program to automatically start when Windows starts. So this is useful in relation to another video that I made, which showed you how to use a program called mini host modular and voice meter in order to remove background noise from your microphone. A lot of people wanted the mini host application to start when Windows started. This is how you're going to do it. So you don't have to go in and click to start it every single time. So this will work with any program inside Windows 10, as long as it's not a program that requires administration privileges to run. Once you start trying to run programs that require administrative pri 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 the pri privileges then you might hit some issues with uac and some other things that are not going to be covered in this video anyways let's hop right over to my desktop and i'll show you how to get any program you want to start when windows starts all right so here we are at the desktop and all you're going to do is you're going to hit the windows key or you can click down here in the search box and you're going to type run when you type run you're going to see this run application come up you're going to want to either click that or just hit the enter key whichever one you want to do and you'll get this little run box down here that pops up in that run box you're going to want to type shell colon startup now that's going to bring us to the startup folder in windows so you can go ahead and type that and then just hit enter once you hit enter, you're going to be presented with the folder that controls which applications are automatically started in Windows. Here you can see I have a couple already, but what I want to start up, I have another program called Minihost, like I talked about earlier, that I want to start when Windows starts. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the folder that has the application that I want to run. And you can see here I have the Minihost modular.exe. So what you're going to do now in order to get this to automatically start when Windows starts, is you're gonna right click and hold the EXE that you want to automatically start. So I'll do that now. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it over here into the startup folder and let go. When I let go, I'm gonna be presented with this little menu and I wanna come down here and click create shortcuts here. And that's gonna create a shortcut to my application. And that's all there is to it. So as you can see, super easy to do. It's not complicated, but it's something that a lot of people don't know how to do. So I figured I'd just make a quick video on it to show you guys. Now, I also wanted to say thank you for getting me to a thousand subs. It's been a lot of fun. I've helped out a lot of you guys along the way and still having a ton of fun with it. So if you have any questions about anything audio related or just Windows stuff in general, maybe streaming OBS, just go ahead and hop into the Discord, ask a question. There's a lot of people there who can help you out if I can't help you out myself, which I'll try to of course anyways i appreciate you watching the video if you want to see more content from me then go ahead and hit the subscribe button go ahead and hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below just letting me know that the video helped you i mean i like that feedback that's why i'm creating these videos is to help people and leaving a comment just lets me know your thoughts on the subject or that you appreciate it or maybe it didn't work for you let me know that too anyways guys i appreciate your time and until next time take it easy